Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Good evening, Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, welcome. Let's begin. Okay. There's a little problem here. These two letters. Okay. Um, I'm calling attendance now. So when you hear your name, please let me know. Okay. Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Yeah. Presente, teacher. Welcome. Arles Ernesto López. Arles Ernesto López. Baudilio Elenilson Rivera. Baudilio Elenilson Rivera. Carlos Alberto Santos. Good evening, teacher. I'm here. Welcome. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. David Antonio Rosales García. David Antonio Rosales García. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Welcome. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Presente, teacher. Welcome. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Ever Francis Salvallero. Ever Francis Salvallero. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Ever Taristi de Soya Ruiz. Presente, teacher. Welcome. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Presente. Thank you. José Amilca Reyes Cruz. José Amilca Reyes Cruz. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. José Benjamín Gavidia. José Valentín Rivera López. José Valentín Rivera. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Presente, presente, teacher. Welcome. Juan Francisco Arzábal Calderón. Juan Francisco Arzábal. Karen Julisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Karen Julisa Vázquez de Aparicio. María de Lourdes Miroslava Mansur Aguilar. Good evening, teacher. I am here. Good evening. Welcome. María Magdalena Cedillos González. Good evening, teacher. Good Present. evening. Welcome. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Present, teacher. Welcome. Mónica Yvette Merino Rivas. Present, present, teacher. Welcome. Oscar Susana Castellano. Present, teacher. Welcome. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Presente, teacher. Welcome. Wilber Rafael, Ra Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Hi, good evening, teacher. Hello. Calling some names again. Arles Ernesto López. Baudilio Lenilson. Present, teacher. I am here. Welcome. Um, Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. David Antonio Rosales García. 
Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Por acá nos dice, bueno, Erika Beatriz Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Present teacher. Ok, welcome. Ever Francis Alvallero. Ever Francis Alvallero. Franklin de la O Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O. José Amilcar Reyes. Dice que por acá está ya. José aquí Benjamín. estoy, tico. aquí estoy. Welcome. A José Benjamín Gavidia. José Valentín Rivera. Juan Francisco Arrazábal. Karen Julisa Vázquez. Salvador Manrique Hernández. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Ok. Comenzamos entonces, llamamos la lista, bueno, llamamos a asistencia al final nuevamente. Everybody, welcome. This is Inglés Principiante, módulo 3, and this is me, Iván Doñán, at your service. This is session 12, and today is July the 6th of 2023. Let's do this. What are we going to do? Take a look. This is the past simple of irregular verbs. Past simple, irregular verbs. Un repaso, a review. So... Uh, some verbs are irregular. That means not regular. Their past form is not ed. Here are some important irregular verbs. You have begin, began, break, broke, bring, brought, build, built, buy, bought, catch, caught, come, came, do, did, drink, drank, eat, ate, fall, past is fell, find, found, fly, flew, forget, forgot, get, got, give, gave, go, went, have, had, hear, heard, no, knew, leave, left, lose, lost, make, made, meet, met, pay, paid, put, put, read, read, ring, rang, say, said, see, saw, sell, sold, sit, sat, sleep, slept, speak, spoke, stand, stood, take, took, tell, told, think, thought, win, won, write, wrote. And some examples. Say, I usually get up early, but this morning I got up at 9.30. This is the past of get up. We did a lot of work yesterday. Did is the past of do. Megan went to the movies three times last week. Went is the past of go. James came into the room, took off his jacket, and sat down. Came is the past of come. Took is the past of take. Sat is the past of sit. Sat down. Se sentó. We have chat entry. Santos Mauricio Valle presente. Okay, welcome. Cecia también presente. All right, so what are we going to do? An exercise. So past simple, irregular verbs. Write sentences about the past. Yesterday, last week, etc. ¿Qué van a hacer ustedes acá? Ocupar el mismo verbo, solo que han pasado. James always goes to work by car. You say, James siempre va al trabajo en carro. So yesterday, he went to work by car. Ayer fue al trabajo en carro, como todos los días. So you have to use the same verb but in past. Cuidado con los adverbs of frequency como always, often, ¿verdad? Esos no los van a utilizar. Porque estamos hablando de una sola ocasión, que sería ayer, la semana pasada, etcétera, etcétera. What about number two? Rachel often loses her keys. So, she, what do you have? If you have the answer, please raise your hand. Si tienen la respuesta, Cecia. Cecia. No sé si está hablando, Cecia, pero si es así no se le escucha nadita. 
Can somebody help us here? Rachel often loses her keys. She? Audilio? She lost. Uh -huh. She lost what? Lost case last week. She lost her keys last week. Okay. So yeah, Rachel often loses her keys. She lost her keys last week. Okay. Okay. It's, thank you, Baudilio. Cecilia está mal su audio. Sí, eso. Así percibimos. Okay. Well, number three. Volunteers, please. Kate meets her friends every night. So she... You have to use the verb in past. Ever Enrique. Microphone. Hola, Ever Enrique. Su micrófono. She mm -hmm. met her friend last night. Okay. She met her friends last night. She met her friends last night. Okay, there you go. Thank you. The met is the past of meet. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, for the next one. Number four, I buy a newspaper every day. So yesterday, raise your hand if you want to participate. Maria de Lourdes. I buy a newspaper every day. Yesterday, I bought a newspaper. Yesterday, I bought a newspaper. Okay, I bought a newspaper. Thank you, Maria de Lourdes. Number five, we often go to the movies on weekends. So, what about last Sunday? Baudilio. We often uh, went no, to careful, the movie. careful, careful. Don't use adverbs of frequency. Vamos a evitar el uso de los oh. adverbs of frequency porque eso se ocupan en tiempos presentes, más que todo. En pasado, okay. casi no. So last Sunday, we? We went the movies on we weekend. Went, we went to the movies. Okay. Bueno, veamos acá. Decimos, we often go. Con frecuencia, vamos al cine los fines de semana. Entonces decimos last Sunday, ya no decimos often, porque sería como decir el domingo pasado con frecuencia fuimos. Ya pierde el sentido. Es como un sentido ya de afirmación. Es decir, fuimos el domingo pasado, entonces nos estamos refiriendo solamente a esa ocasión. Last Sunday we went to the movies. Por la misma razón tampoco podemos decir on weekends, porque estamos diciendo, imagínense, el domingo pasado fuimos al cine los fines de semana. Entonces ahí pierde el sentido un poquito, ¿verdad? Así que sería únicamente last Sunday we went to the movies y nada más. Thank you, Baudilio. Number six, I eat an orange every day. What about this one? Enrique Pérez. Teacher, me ayuda. Numbers. Number six. Number six. I, I eat on orange every day. Yesterday, I uh, ate eight. 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 Mm -hmm. Eight. Uh, an orange every every day. Every day. Yeah. Are you sure? Yo digo, teacher. <laughs> Vaya, veamos. Yesterday, I ate an orange. Nada más. Ya no podemos decir every day porque every day es todos los días. Ya, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Entonces, Gracias, si dijéramos, yesterday I ate an orange every day, nos quedaría ayer, me comí una naranja todos los días. Ahí ya pierde el sentido, ¿verdad? Ok, so, thank you, Enrique. Number seven, Baudilio. Uh, Tom always takes a shower in the morning. Uh, sería this morning he took a shower this morning he took a shower 
Yeah, this morning he took a shower. Thank you, Valilio. Very good. Number eight wants to try. Chat entry here. Franklin de la O, ya está por acá. ¿Dónde está? Aquí está. Okay, la asistencia tomada. Welcome. Number eight. Our friends often come to see us. How about this one? If you know the answer, raise your hand, please. Mm -hmm. The last one, number eight. Our friends often come to see us. They, vamos. Bueno, nadie quiere participar. They came to see us last Friday. Thank you, Ever Enrique. You go for the next one. So they came to see us last Friday. So what are we going to do here? This is uh, 4.8, simple past statements with irregular verbs. Complete the chart, then listen and check, okay? So what do we have here? There's the present, there's the past. The past is what? The present is or the base form in this case is by. So can you help me with this? Okay, the past is eight. What is the base form? Ever Enrique. Eat. It's eat, that is correct. Thank you very much. What about the next one? Felt, what's the base form of the verb? Felt. What about the verb felt? What's the base form? David Antonio, then Maria Magdalena, and then Maria de Lourdes. Okay, so David Antonio. David Antonio. Felt. Uh, perdón, uh, David. Bueno, no sé si me escucha David, no sé si está hablando, aparece su eh, eh, micrófono activado, pero no, si está hablando no se le escucha nada. Ok, vamos con María Magdalena. What's the base form? Fair. I'm sorry? Fair. It's uh, feel. Feel. Feel, okay? Feel. It's a feel, that's correct. Okay, so. Okay, thank you. Maria de Lourdes. What about uh, read? Uh, read. Read, that's correct. Okay, thank you. What about the next one? Road. What about road? This is the past of what verb? Maria de Lourdes. Ride. Is the past of ride, like when you ride a bicycle or when you ride a horse. Thank you very much. What about saw? Saw is the past of what verb? Mm -hmm. David Antonio, tiene su manita levantada? No? Okay. Um, what about the verb saw? Is the past of Adan Iglesias? See. Is the past of see. That is correct. Okay. Bye. Thank you very much. Good, good. <laughs> yeah, so is the past of see. Thank you. What about sat? What about sat? Is the past form of what verb? Enrique. Teacher, sit. Is the best of sit. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, very good. What about took, Baudilio? Talk. 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 Mm, talk. No, it's not, it's not talk. Talk. Mm, no, sorry. Talk is a regular verb. 
So took is different. Let's see what um, Adán Iglesias has to say and then Maria de Lourdes. Take. Is the past of take. Okay, yeah, that's right. Take. Okay, yeah, it's the past of take. Uh, Maria de Lourdes, the last one is yours. You have war. What about war? Where? Is the past of where. Correct. Okay, very good. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, so uh, that's right. You have the verb buy, the past is bought. The verb eat, the past is ate. The verb feel, the past is felt. Read, the past is read. The spelling is the same, but the pronunciation is different. Ride, the past is rode. See, the past is saw. Sit, the past is sat. Take, the past is took. Wear, the past is wore. There you go. So what are we going to do here? There's a conversation, okay? There's a conversation. Did you like it? Te gustó, Lisa. Did you like it? I want you to listen and practice. Solo me confirma si pueden escuchar. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. Can you hear that? Sí, se escucha. Okay, thank you. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow! Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Okay. So, uh, did you like it? Um, what about this uh, conversation? Can I have two volunteers to read it, please? Two volunteers to read the conversation? Cecia? Esperemos que no le falle el micrófono. Vamos. Exacto. Okay. We can hear you. Okay. So, we have Cecia. One more person, please. Y más. Ever Enrique. Okay, so Cecia, you read uh, Laura's part, and uh, Ever Enrique, you read Erica's part. Please. Okay. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did do you like it? Oh, yes. We love it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Surely we rode horse. And we else went white water racing on the Colorado River. Wow. Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, Laura says, so, did you go anywhere last summer? Fuiste algún lugar el verano pasado? Did you go anywhere last summer? And Erica says, yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. Mi hermana y yo fuimos a Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Vimos el Gran Cañón. And then Laura, Laura says, really? Did you like it? ¿Te gustó? Erica says, oh, yes, we loved it. Sí, verdad, nos encantó. So Laura says, did you go hiking there? Fuiste a caminar, verdad, en el Gran Cañón? Uh, Erica says, no, we didn't. Actually, which means de hecho, verdad, o en realidad, actually, we rode horses, montamos a caballo. And we also went white water rafting on the Colorado River. ¿Qué es white water rafting? Este deporte que está acá. Este es white water rafting. No me preguntan en español qué es porque siempre se me olvida. Pero aquí lo pueden ver. Ese deporte es el white water rafting. Uh, Laura says, wow, did you have fun? ¿Te divertiste o se divirtieron? ¿Verdad? Erica says, yes, we did. We had a great time. La pasamos muy bien. We had a great time. So what are we going to do here? I want you to take a look. Ah, el knowledge check 4.9 lo vamos a hacer después, o por lo menos lo vamos a revisar después en caso que ustedes ya lo hayan hecho, eh, porque es importante cubrir cierto contenido primero. 
okay? So lesson objective, everybody take a look. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer simple pass yes, no questions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán cómo formular y responder preguntas con respuesta corta, es decir, de sí o no, en pasado simple. Además, practicará una conversación la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un entorno de la vida real. This is what we just did, es lo que acabamos de hacer. So, what is this? Simple past, yes, no questions. This is what you have in the material. Take a look. Did you have a good time? Sorry, did you have a good summer? You say, yes, I did. Period. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? You say, no, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? You say, yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. So in more detail, you have this. This is past simple, yes, no questions. Take a good look. Before I forget, I'm going to send this to you. Okay, here. It's uploading right now, okay. So, uh, yes, no questions. ¿Cómo van a hacer ustedes la pregunta? A yes, no question. Es fácil. Es muy fácil. You only need the auxiliary did for all the subjects. Se utiliza el mismo auxiliar para todos los sujetos. Okay? It's did. And only that. Did. So, did. Did I, did you, did he, did she, did it, did we, did they. No tiene un auxiliar especial para he, she, it. Como en present simple, si ustedes se acuerdan, se utiliza do, pero cuando es he, she, it, se utiliza does, ¿verdad? Pero en past simple no existe eso, es el mismo auxiliar para todos los sujetos, así que por eso no se preocupen mucho. So, did I, did you, did he, did she, did it, did we, did they? And after that, you have to use a verb in base form. Base form, always remember. El verbo va a ser en forma base. Así que si recapitulamos, usted va a utilizar el verbo en pasado únicamente en oraciones afirmativas. Si es negativa o si es una pregunta, usted va a utilizar el verbo principal en forma base. Eso clarito, clarito, ¿verdad? Tanto para verbos regulares como irregulares. Es la misma historia. De nuevo. Usted utiliza el verbo en pasado únicamente en las oraciones afirmativas. Negativas, usa el verbo en forma base. Preguntas, usa el verbo en forma base. ¿Ok? Did I play? Did you start? Did he watch? Did she have? Did it see? Did we do? Did they go? Y aquí dice, did you know? ¿Sabías? So, some examples. Did you study for the test? ¿Estudiaste para el examen? Did the kids break the window? ¿Los niños rompieron la ventana? Did your brother go to the movies last night? ¿Tu hermano fue al cine anoche? Did you and your brother share bedrooms? Share the bedroom when you were kids? Okay. Chucky, bueno. Eh, tu hermano y tú compartían la habitación cuando eran niños. Did Sandra buy the concert tickets? Sandra compró los, los boletos para el concierto. That's the idea. Now take a look. I want you to study the word order in questions. I'm going to send this to you. Okay. Study the word order in questions. What's the word order? Take a look. You have to use did, then the subject, and then the base form. Lo mismo que está acá, ¿verdad? Did, luego el sujeto, y luego la forma base. So, did your sister call you? Tu hermana te llamó. Did you see Joe yesterday? Viste a Joe ayer? Did it rain on Sunday? Llovió el domingo? And the short answers. Now, look, these are yes, no questions. Remember, when you have a yes, no question, you can only answer by saying yes or no. Only that. 
So the short answers go like this. Si ustedes se acuerdan, les dije que para contestar una yes no question, independientemente del tiempo de verbo, solamente tienen que fijarse en el auxiliar que va al principio de la pregunta. Y ese es el auxiliar que van a utilizar. Así que cuando vean una pregunta que empiece con did, o sea, en past simple, van a utilizar did en la respuesta corta. Y van a decir, yes, I did, yes, we did, yes, you did, yes, they did, Yes, he did. Yes, she did. Yes, he did. If it's negative, you say, no, I didn't. No, we didn't. No, you didn't. No, they didn't. No, he didn't. No, she didn't. No, it didn't. That's the idea. Examples. Did you see Joe yesterday? You say, no, I didn't. Did it rain on Sunday? Yes, it did. Did Emma come to the party? No, she didn't. Did your parents have a good trip? Yes, they did. Before we continue, do you have any questions about this? Tienen alguna pregunta? Alguna duda? Algo que no les haya quedado claro sobre la forma de pregunta en pasado simple. No questions. I take that as a no. All right, then we're going to do some exercises. So, what about number one? You yeah, have uh, write questions with did. Example, I watched TV last night. How about you? ¿Verdad? Yo vi la tele anoche. ¿Y tú? Did you watch TV last night? ¿Viste la tele anoche? So you have to use the same verb, but in the question form, and you have to use the subject at the end. How about you? Did you watch TV last night? Juan Francisco dice, ya estoy presente por acá. Tomamos su asistencia. Thank you. What about number two? I enjoyed the party. How about you? What's the question? If you know, raise your hand. Cecia. Did you enjoy the party? Did you enjoy the party? That is correct. Very good. Did you enjoy the party? Great. All right. Number three. I had a nice vacation. How about you? If you know, please raise your hand. Paudilio, then Cecia, then Maria de Lourdes. Mantengan la manita levantada, ¿verdad? Si, si no van inmediatamente, si no, después se me olvida. Ok, Paudilio, number three. Did, did you have a nice vacation? Let's uh, see. Uh, can you repeat it? Did you have... Like this? No. Oh, no, have. like this? Have. Yeah. Okay. Did you have a nice vacation? That is correct. Thank you, Baudilio. Cecia, number four. I finished work early. How about you? Did you finish work? Early? Did you finish work early? Did you finish work early? That is correct. Thank you, Cecia. We have a chat entry. Salvador dice que también ya está por acá. Y también José Benjamín Gavidia. Ok, bienvenidos ambos. Ok, María de Lourdes. I slept well last night. How about you? Did you sleep well last night? Did you sleep well last night? Correct. Did you sleep well last night? Very good. Ok, number six. I went to the I beach to the yesterday. Beach. How okay. About you? Okay. I went to the beach yesterday. Maria Magdalena, how about you? Did you go to the beach yesterday? Ah, uh, ¿quién me está hablando ahí? Yes. <laughs> ahí did, tiene activado su, su, su Did sonido. you go to uh -huh. the beach yesterday? Did you go to the beach yesterday? That is correct. Thank you. Maria Magdalena. Okay. 
did you go to the beach yesterday? You see, it's easy. No es complicado. Okay, no es complicado. Okay. Siempre insisto, participen. Ahorita llevo aquí un conteo de toda la clase. Siete personas han participado. Ahí voy viendo. Bueno, las siete personas están entendiendo porque me están dando la respuesta. Los demás, no sé. <ríe> no me lo demuestran. Ok, tratemos de participar. María Magdalena. Es que lo que he comprendido, póngala. A la anterior, ok. Aquí en, este, en esta clase que nos está dando, profesor, aquí este, el verbo se utiliza en su forma, ¿cómo se dice? Base. Ajá, pero, pero ya la respuesta es en su modo, for, ¿cómo dijo usted? El, el formal, el base, en su forma, forma base. Forma base, así es. Lo que pasa es que si es una oración afirmativa, Usted va a utilizar el verbo en pasado. Por ejemplo, aquí lo ve. Dice, I watched TV last night. I enjoyed the party. I had a nice vacation. I finished work early. I slept well last night. I went to the beach yesterday. Cada una de ellas es una oración afirmativa. Pero cuando usted ya hace una pregunta o una oración negativa, tiene que utilizar el verbo en forma base que no va a indicar que es este past simple, el auxiliar. El auxiliar en la oración negativa es didn't. Cuando usted ve ahí el didn't, ah, ya sabe que es past simple. Y en la pregunta, ¿qué le va a indicar que es past simple? También el auxiliar, did. Ese es el que le indica a usted que es past simple. Pero el verbo, de nuevo, en la oración negativa y en las preguntas tiene que ir en forma base. Como vemos acá, did you watch TV last night? Did you enjoy the party? Did you have a nice vacation? Did you finish work early? Did you sleep well last night? Did you go to the beach? Si ustedes se fijan, nunca aparece en pasado en la pregunta. No decimos, por ejemplo, did you went to the beach yesterday? Eso sería un error, ¿verdad? Así que eh, mucho cuidado ahí. Solamente se utiliza la forma en pasado en la oración afirmativa. Y nada más, ¿verdad? Ok. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Saúl Ernesto. <laughs> ok, vamos. Uh, complete the conversations, then practice with a partner. Ok, so did you have a good summer? You say, ese es el knowledge check 4.9, ¿verdad? 4.9, que tienen ustedes ahí en la plataforma. No he entrado, pero cuesta un poco que entre. Ustedes ya saben que es un poquito lento. Ay, me sacó de sesión. Bueno. No entré en un par de días, me sacó la sesión. Well, uh, did you have a good summer? Okay, you say, yes, I... ¿Cómo nos, nos quedará por acá? Veamos. Salvador. Uh, yes, I, yes, I have a ah, great... Careful, careful. Si usted se fija, aquí está el punto. Ah. O sea, que ahí termina. Es una respuesta corta. So, Entonces did... sería, yes... Uh -huh. Yes, I did. I had yes, a, a great. I had a great summer. Okay. Great summer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the last one, I just. I just. Um, relax. Forma base o forma pasado. Yeah, uh, it's the sentence affirmative or negative. <clears throat> uh, affirmative. Uh huh. Entonces, nos quedaría. Just relax. Relaxed in past, right? Relax. I just relaxed. Okay. This is a regular verb. Thank you, Salvador. Very good. Thanks for your participation. Number two. Quien decida ir por la dos tiene que decirlas todas las que están en la dos. Okay. Number two. Number two, what is the question? Karen Julissa.
Hola, Vicente. Hola. Sí, vaya que estoy en clase. <ríe> Voy a intentarlo. Ok. Did you win any... Did you win any where... Careful, careful, summer? careful, careful. Es la pregunta, acuérdense. En la pregunta vamos a utilizar siempre el verbo en forma base. Entonces decimos, did you? Oh, did you go? Uh -huh. Did you go? Anywhere did you... last summer? Anywhere last summer? Uh -huh. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I, I, stayed, I stayed here. I stayed here, okay? Stayed. I stayed here. Uh -huh. But my friend visited, visited, visited me, uh -huh. visited me, and on the weekend we went out. No sé si así era eso. Yes. A lot. We went out a lot. Yeah, correct. Thank you, Karen Julissa. Did you go anywhere last summer? No, I didn't. I stayed here. But my friends visited me, and on the weekends we went out a lot. Okay. Thank you very much. Very good. Eso es. Eso es. Vamos. Number three. Volunteers, please. Baudilio. Did, did you talk any did, class last summer? How do you pronounce this? Talk. Um, ¿Se pronuncia así esto? Take. Sorry. Take. Uh -huh. so, take. Did you did take? Did you take any, yes. any class last summer? ¿Verdad? Porque es una pregunta, entonces el verbo principal va a ir en forma base. Okay. Did you take any classes last summer? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. I took tennis class. I took. I took. took. Cuidado con la pronunciación, class. porque si lo dice así, suena como otro verbo. Suena como el verbo talk en forma base. Oh, ok. Ajá. Entonces la pronunciación aquí es took. I took. took. Mm -hmm. took. So I took tennis lessons and. Lesson. And I played. 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 Uh -huh. Tennis every day. Ok, thank you. Did you take any classes last summer? Yes, I did. I took tennis lessons and I played tennis every day. Okay, thank you. Number four. If you want to try, raise your hand, please. Vamos, intentemos. Maria de Lourdes and then Never Enrique. Okay, Maria de Lourdes. Did you speak English that summer? Hmm? You no, I didn't. Uh -huh. But I read English books and I watch English movies movies. Okay, thank you. So did you speak English last summer? No, I didn't, but I read English books and I watched English movies. There you go. Very good. That's knowledge check 4.9. Si se quiero ver si lo muestro acá. Knowledge check 4.9. Ando lejos. Just a moment. Should be this one. Este es el mismo ejercicio, técnicamente, solo un poquito diferente. Complete the conversations, okay? Solo hay que completar el espacio vacío. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Same exercise. Okay. So, uh, next. Unscramble the questions. This is 4.12. Okay. 4.12. Instructions. Unscramble the questions by putting the words in the correct order. Remember to type the question mark. Acuérdese de utilizar el question mark, o sea, el signo de interrogación al final. Muy importante. Okay. Aquí nos vamos para acá. Esto ya lo vimos. Vamos al knowledge check. No es que no hayamos saltado esto. De hecho, lo vimos. Lo que pasa es que les había dicho que el, el knowledge check 4.9 lo íbamos a resolver posteriormente porque faltaba la explicación todavía. 
en cambio aquí en la plataforma aparece primero el ejercicio y después la explicación entonces por eso lo hicimos así ok um, Cecia había levantado la manita ya no este ya me olvidó ok All right, so what about the first one? Watch television did you last night? What is the correct form? Ahí le está hablando como, como Yoda, con las palabras todas revueltas. Baudilio. Did you watch, watch television last night? Did you watch television last night? Just like that. Did you watch television last night? Thank you, Audilio. What about the second one? Have dinner. You did last night. What's the question? If you know, please raise your hand. Cecia. Did you have, a da have dinner last night? Did you have dinner last night? That is correct. Did you have dinner last night? Great. Thank you, Cecia. The next one. Go to work yesterday. You did. What about this one? Number three, if you know the answer, or if you know the question, please raise your hand. Ever Enrique, and then David Antonio. Did you go to work yesterday? Did you go to work yesterday? That is correct, very good. Thank you, Ever. And David Antonio, the last one, go to the movies they did on Wednesday. Me escucha, teacher? Yes. Did they go to go, go to the movies on Wednesday? Did they go to the movies on Wednesday? Uy, perdón, yo me equivoqué acá. <laughs> no era did you, sino did they. Did they. Uh, they... I'm sorry. Did they go to the movies on Wednesday? Correct. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, David. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. That's the knowledge check 4.12. Así tendría que contestarlo en la plataforma para que le salga bien. Um, cuidado, verdad, con, con dejar espacios en blanco. Cuidado que se le olvide el question mark, o sea, el signo de interrogación, porque si usted se le olvida o le falla un detallito de eso, le va a salir mal. Así que mucho cuidado ahí. So what's next, okay? We don't have much time. No nos queda mucho tiempo, pero ya casi terminamos. Listening, I didn't go anywhere, okay? Give me a moment. Now this activity, mm, nos queda poquito tiempo. Okay, Enrique, dígame. Teacher, que es anywhere. Anywhere, a ningún lugar. Yeah. En, este, en este caso, anywhere, en una oración negativa es a ningún lugar o en ninguna parte. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Yo creo que por el tiempo vamos a pasar de una vez. Está el, el Word Power. Este sí es parte de la plataforma, así que vamos directo a esto. Word Power, Summer Activities. Take a look. Find uh, two words from the list that go with each verb in the chart. Then listen and check. Okay, we're going to do this together. Este es el ejercicio 4.14. Word Power, Summer Activities. For example, you can go hiking, que es irse de caminata a una montaña, por lo general, or you can go swimming, que es irse o irse a nadar, ¿verdad? That's go swimming. So, um, what about have? What two words go with have? ¿Cuáles dos de esta lista, verdad, van con have? Cecia. All friends, pictures. Have old friends and have pictures. Aunque se puede decir have old friends, de hecho van otras que son mejores. But thank you, thank you, Cecia. Salvador. Have a class. A picnic. Have a class, okay. Okay, that's good. Have a class is possible. Hay otra que va con have, de hecho. Otra que va con la class, perdón. Se puede decir have a class, okay, pero hay otro verbo que le, que le va mejor a ese. Hmm? Who can help me here? ¿Quién me ayuda con esto? Ever Enrique. A, a picnic. 
have a picnic, okay, is possible, yeah, and the other one? Have a picnic, ¿cuál sería la otra? What do you have? Hot fun. ¿Quién me participó? Ever Enrique. Okay, you have have fun, yeah, and have a picnic. That's correct. Thank you, Ever. So, um, about the next one, meet. Who can you meet? Karen Julissa. All friends. Mm -hmm. Or? I know. Say. Okay. <laughs> Middle friends is correct. Okay. ¿Qué más? Bye. <laughs> Ay, no, no sé cuál sería la otra. No ah, new people. That's correct. Meet new people or meet old friends. El verbo meet tiene dos significados. Usted puede utilizarlo para referirse a conocer a alguien, es decir, cuando usted le presentan a alguien o cuando usted habla o mira a alguien por primera vez en su vida, eso es meet. En este caso, meet new people, es conocer personas nuevas. Pero también meet quiere decir reunirse. Por eso una reunión es un meeting, ¿verdad? Entonces, meet es, en este caso, meet all friends, sería reunirse con viejos amigos. Ambos significados. Baudilio. Play tennis. Uh -huh. Play uh, tennis. Volleyball. Play volleyball. That is correct. Thank you, Baudilio. Okay. Uh, what about C? What about C? A oh, movie. Dear. Uh, okay, Bodilio, see a movie? A picture. S uh, mm, no, not really. It's a different one. But thank you. Okay. So who can help me here? Maria de Lourdes, and then Karen Julissa. See a class? See a class. Not exactly, but thank you. Karen Julissa? A play. See a play, correct. And what is a play? A play is una obra de teatro. That's a play. See a play, pero una obra de teatro. Okay. And the last one. Take... Ah, sí, ya solo quedan dos. Well, we have take a class and take pictures. Okay, those are the answers right there. So that's the word power summer activities. So what's next? The final activity today is lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will develop skills in reading for main ideas and details. Al final de esta clase, ustedes desarrollarán habilidades en la lectura para las ideas principales y los detalles. So, um, just a moment. Okay. So, what's next? Weekend stories. Okay. So, these are the weekend stories. Uh, who had a terrible weekend? Who enjoyed the weekend? Who learned a lot over the weekend? So, because of the time, porque nos queda poquito tiempo, Voy a leer yo el primero, por lo menos. Kelly said, I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend's, to my best friend Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. 
I'm really happy for her. And I really like her husband. Okay. So, uh, do you have any questions about the vocabulary or the expressions right here? ¿Alguna consulta que tenga sobre el primer párrafo? Vocabulario, por ejemplo, que no hayan, que no les haya quedado claro o que sea nuevo para ustedes, pueden consultar ahorita. No questions. Okay, then. Second paragraph. Robert says, I had an awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert ended, our car broke down. I called my parents and they come and got us. We finally got home at 10 this morning. I am so tired. So what about the second photograph? Do you have any questions? Preguntas, vocabulario, segundo párrafo. Paudilio. Broke down. Broke down. Se arruinó. <laughs> so, okay. The car broke down. Carro se nos quedó, se arruinó. Okay, José Amircar. Quedó parado. Se quedó, se, se fregó, ¿verdad? José Amircar. Sería awful. Awful. Awful is? I, I awful. Awful, right? I had an awful weekend. Tuve un fin de semana horrible. Awful. Horrible. Awful. Mm -hmm. That's the meaning of Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Any other questions about the vocabulary? Por acá el chat. Y se le fue mal a Robert, eso sí. Otra Robert. teacher. Okay, José Milka. Otra, este, esa que dice Brock. Car Our broke car down. Broke down. Broke down. Break down, cuando un aparato le sucede que es serrina, decimos break down. En este caso, el pasado sería broke down. El carro se arruinó. Bueno, okay, es un poco exagerado porque cuando decimos nosotros the car, el carro se arruinó, suena como que ya no tiene ninguna reparación. ¿verdad? Más mm -hmm. bien falló y se quedó. Una falla. Car, Tuvo ah, una falla. Tuvo una falla y ya no quiso. Ya no se pudo seguir utilizando. Our okay, car broke thanks. down. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Our car broke down. So, um, next, you have Erin. This lady. So, Erin said, I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left this, we left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. First, we put up the tent. Then we built a fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. We got up early on Sunday and went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary here? Pregunta acerca del vocabulario. No questions. Okay. We do the exercise. Cecia. Sí, I have a question. What's your question? Um, what's the meaning of traducción? El significado. Ah, it's what's the meaning of... Um, <clears throat> We left and we left. drove. Uh -huh. Left is the past of leave. Que es partir, ah, sí. uh -huh. We left on Saturday and drove. Uh -huh. Drove is the past of drive. Uh, sí. uh, we drove to the uh -huh. campsite. Mm -hmm. Four to five. Mm -hmm. uh, Toby. Okay. All right, thank you, thank you, Cecia. Baudilio? I count a fish. I caught a fish. Caught is the best of catch. Catch means um, atrapar, I... right? So I caught a fish, atrapé un pez. Pensé que decía pescar. O sea, lo se refiere a lo mismo. Ah, pues ocupamos caught, que es el pasado de catch, que es atrapar. I caught a fish, atrapé un pescado. 
Okay, o capturar un you. pescado. You're welcome. Ok, Salvador Hernández. Build a fire. It's We built a build fire. fire. Es decir, encendimos un, una fogata o un fuego. We built a fire. Así se dice. Sería construir un fuego, dice literalmente, pero así es en inglés. We built a fire. También se puede decir, we lit up a fire. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what are we going to do? Read the article and then correct these sentences. Okay, that's the final part, the knowledge check. I believe uh, should be reading. No, that's it. Wedding stories. It's just the reading part. Okay, there's no exercise. Okay, listen. I'm going to take attendance now. Voy a tomar la asistencia. Así que, por favor. Arles Ernesto López. Está por acá. Good evening, teacher. Presente. Hello. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. No está. David Antonio Rosales García. Sí, está. Presente, teacher. Welcome. Marie, eh, perdón, Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Presente, teacher. Welcome. Ever Francis Alvallero. Ever Francis. José Valentín Rivera López. José Valentín. Karen Julisa Vázquez. Sí, por acá está. Ok. <laughs> Welcome. Ok. Um, everybody, that's it. Ok, that's it today. Vamos a llegar hasta acá. Ya son las ocho y uno. Así que aquí terminamos eh, esta sección. Por favor, no descuiden su trabajo en la plataforma. Ya para el día de hoy tiene que estar terminado todo hasta la sección cuatro. ¿Verdad? Así que, por favor, si no han terminado hasta ahí, eh, buen salvadoreño, ¿verdad? Metámosle un poquito ahí para poder sacar todo a tiempo. Eh, recuerden que mañana es viernes, no hay clase y aunque hubiera, igual iba a ser asueto, así que <ríe> eh, no, hay, no, hay, no hay clases día de mañana. Uh, I'll see you Monday. Nos vemos el día lunes. See you Monday, teacher. Good night. Good night. Take good good care. Good night, teacher. See you Monday. See you bye Monday. Bye. See you Monday. 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 See you Monday.